is a growing concern today, claiming around 7 million lives prematurely all over the world, out of which India has the highest death rate due to air pollution. More closely, about 78% cities, that is 141 cities, exceed the standard set for particulate matter of size below 10 microns. As many as 90 cities have critical levels of PM10. Regions like Gwalior, West Singham, Ghaziabad, Raipur and Delhi are the top 5 critically polluted cities. You'll find every 1 in 100 people wearing these masks today. But are they enough? With daily exposure to harmful gases, the inefficient masks available in the market don't even make a dent where it counts the most. We realize there are 3 cases that could be considered for an air mask user. First region, region with high pollution, atmosphere requires continuous filtration, hence we need to wear the masks all the time in this place. Second region, area is not that polluted, hence the user does not need to wear the mask. But since he does not possess this information, he still goes on wearing it, making his day quite cumbersome and uncomfortable. Third region, this is by far the most dangerous and harmful region as the pollution level in this area is out of the mask's ability to filter making it ineffective and as the user still believes himself protected from his environment, he is at a great danger. To solve this problem, we have created Oxynail, an intelligent air mask that not only filters the air but also gives air concentration data to the user. Our team at the Technoplant Labs have designed the product keeping in mind the user and hence our device weighs no more than 200 grams, letting the user feel light and carefree. We have used MQ-135 gas sensor, launch pad, air fan, MSP-430, 3 to 5 voltage converter, Blee Mini Bluetooth and this was the first stage of our circuit. We have used MSV430 microcontroller which is connected to 1 to 135 gas sensor which sensor required information to the Bluetooth about the pollution level and also controls the operation of the air pump which supply fresh oxygen to the user. On activation of the gas sensor, it collects required information from the environment and sends the, sends the data to the microcontroller. The microcontroller then processes the required information and the fresh oxygen is supplied accordingly. When the air impurity is not high, only front filters work. But with alarming level of pollution, air pump starts working. The user gets data about the pollution level or the particulate matter level from the smartphone application which is connected through Bluetooth. Here we have our basic breadboard structure where we are testing the MQ-135 gas sensor. We have also gathered the PPM value from sensor to the serial monitor by changing the code which changes voltage value to PPM. We have our final module here. So uh, just all we are going to do is add it, um, add it up to our air mask. So here we have the air monitor giving the value to the um, Bluetooth and now from the Bluetooth, as you can see, we have a device, Oxygen Hill, and to connect, connect it. So we're getting a bunch of values right now. Most of them, are, as you can see, are gas is equal to 428 ppm, which is basically the air monitoring system that uh, the MQ-135 here right now. This give this is giving us the values in ppm, the in voltage that we are converting into ppm. So this uh, is an air quality monitor index. So, air quality index cannot change very easily without 
change rapid change in the values of a uh, lot of gases so we don't have access to nh3 co or co2 gases right now and changing them would be harmful for us so right now what you're going to do is take a basic trick we'll take a matchstick which will increase the co2 content in the nearby vicinity of the gas sensor and as you can see there's a change it's 428 ppm so th this value will continue uh, will continue till the time the gas sensor senses mm, the co2 in the air now we will get better changes uh, in the air quality only if we have um, different qualities now you can see it's back to 428 ppm because the change is gone and as you can see our sensor circuit is complete the module works so now we're going to incorporate it into the mask right now and do the visual demo testing here for our final demonstration we have a user wearing an ox inhale mask he is performing a welding task which as you can see has generated an alert on his phone due to the harmful change in his environment that is detected by the mask and notified to him via the phone app. So wearing the mask not only helps our users stay away from air pollution but also stops people from further polluting our environment.